Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I created this peachy keen sage green nail design. I just love it so much and I think it's so fun for spring. And here are the polishes that I use for this design. I'm using Essie Filling Wellies. This is from their new spring collection. It's also one of my spring favorites. But the polish that I'm featuring today is Olive and June KMC. It's such a good sage green and I'm also using Essie Coconut Coat. As always, I'll have links to all the products that I'm using down below, but I'm using this Winstonia nail art brush. I use it all the time. It's one of my favorites and it comes at such a great price. So I have three coats of KMC on all my fingers except for my middle and ring finger which I have a coat of Coconut Cove. I have already done the art design on my middle finger and I'm going to show you how I did it on my pointer. So first I want to use three different shades of the same color. So I'm going to start with the orange color filling welly. So I'm going to put a dot of that and Coconut Cove together and I'm just going to mix in a tiny bit of orange here. I showed this whole process but I sped it up because I want you to see basically the whole process as we go. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of the white below and then I'm going to put this lighter amount down here and you kind of just do it waving. It's really nice. You can't really mess it up because it's a wavy design. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of that orange and make it just a tad bit darker. So more of a medium tone of that color. And I'm going to paint that on next. And I'm just going to do a layer about the same thickness as the first one. And this will give you that next shade. I was able to mix this because I worked pretty quickly, but if you haven't, it's okay. You can get new polish and try to get that medium color again. And then I'm going to come in with just the regular polish here, the full color, and I'm going to come and do the top layer on here. And then I'm just going to shape it the way that I want it, give it a little bit of a wave, and then make sure the sides are all filled in completely. And you can go back with a brush and acetone and clean up any mistakes, so don't worry about that. So now I'm coming in with the sage green and the coconut cove, and I'm going to mix a little bit of the green into that, just like I did with the orange. And I'm going to come in and leave a space of the white in between and then I'm going to do this lightest shade of this color here and again in a wavy pattern. And when I'm done with that I'm going to add a little more green. It took me a little bit longer to do this the way that I really wanted to so I had to come back in and get fresh paint to do that mid-tone color of that color or mid-tone shade of that color. So now I'm going to mix that in and get a medium shade and then come in and you can kind of compare it to the other one. Here it was looking a little bit the same so I just added a little bit more green and then that got the color that I wanted. You want to be able to see the color differences between each line and that's really what makes this gradient pretty cool I think and so you just want to check that when you're painting it. Okay so now I'm coming in with a full color of KMC and I'm just going to do the top. I'm going to make sure to cap the top with my polish as well. And here I am using that brush and acetone to clean up any mistakes. And my skin is really dry today, I'm not sure why, and so I put some oil on there. I usually do this step when I'm done painting too, but it was driving me crazy so I did it a little bit early. And now I'm going to come in with my fast dry top coat when that is completely dry. I let it dry maybe 10 minutes. And then that is the final look. I just love this gradient look so much, you guys. If you recreate this design, please tag me in Instagram and use hashtag inspired by polish so I can see it. I just love seeing you guys follow these tutorials. And thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.